First things first, got to use good beans. These are from Broadsheet that I got from Trade Coffee Co., which is a monthly coffee subscription service. Next, obviously, load some beans in the hopper. You can leave this thing full or put them in as needed. When you first use the machine, you want to heat up the portafilter by flushing some water through here. That'll get it closer to the same temperature as the group head when you pull the espresso shot, creating more consistency. Then load it into the grinder and we're ready to grind. The grind setting is incredibly important. For new beans, I usually start somewhere in the 35, 36 range and then bring it down from there as needed. You know, once you have the optimal grind, Every day or so, you need to dial this number down a little bit as the beans progressively dry out. I use these Bodum double wall glasses. Really love them. I'll put a link down below for you guys. Now for the most overlooked and important component of the setup, the scale. The scale is going to tell us how to adjust the grinder. You want roughly two grams of water for every gram of coffee. The grinder dose is about 22 grams of coffee, so we're looking to 40 to 45 grams of water when the shot's fully pulled. If it's above that, it's too coarse. If it's below it, it's too fine, and we can adjust accordingly. You can see here we've gone pretty far over. You know, it's still drinkable, but it's not optimal, so we're going to clean this thing out and reload. few steps is a pretty dramatic move so you know from here I'll move it down from 34 down to 31 or so which is pretty extreme you should really only adjust the grinder when it's running so you'll see me wait till it starts here and then I'll adjust it and now let's cut to some slow-mo shots and some film music zoom in a little more A little more. Glorious. And that's it. Let's take a closer look. You can waste a lot of beans dialing in a machine like this, but as long as it's in the right zip code, it's perfectly drinkable. Cheers. When you're done using the machine, we have to clean it out. You can use this rubber stopper. Just goes right in the porta filter. Run it for 20 seconds. You'll hear it flush out. And then dump it out, wipe it off, and we're done.